I would like to just to focus on what has happened in and around us all these days in various, you call it in various names, but what has actually happened is the pollution issues. Let it be water, for example, in China, the Shungua River, yes, it is polluted to a maximum. Here I'm going to show you about the Alang, the city called Alang in Gujarat, the Bhavnagar uh, area it is present. It is nothing but the ship dismantling yard. Hmm? So here we are dumping the solid waste to a maximum. Whatever is possible that is being done to a maximum to the ecosystem. And here this slide shows you about the threat to the biodiversity. So here what has happened, the elephants were killed by the cyanide poisoning by 2015. These are all real facts. What is happening around us? So if you're interested, I'll be sending you this PPT to the organizers. You can have all these issues checked. This is from different dailies, dailies right? So, and you would have heard about the uh, death of uh, so many uh, marine organisms just because of the plastic bags getting entangled. It is, uh, I want to introduce this name to the August audience, the microplastic pollution nowadays getting increased to a maximum. So this is the uh, research finding of one particular university, uh, Cheng Hung University of China. Yes. So uh, the Taiwan people, they have uh, worked on it and they can understand, yes, the whale has been poisoned by the fishing net, which is around uh, a big mass of fishing, fishing net has been seen inside the stomach of the whale and thereby it has lost its life. So this microplastic is getting increased day by day. That is also an important aspect to be looked into because of the wide usage of plastic materials. We are so much conven feeling convenient to use the plastics. So its utilization has become increased. Yes. And one more information I would like to show you. This is the Bellandur Lake of Bangalore, which you would have seen uh, last by from last year, sudden uh, uh, plumes forming and sudden um, foams, the foams also forming. This is just because of so much of pollutant getting added up to the water system. And it is happening now and then the entire residential area is getting contaminated. And this is our nation's capital. We know uh, very well the haze starts descending during the winter period, making the uh, traffic uh, uh, very problematic. Right from 2018, the people are seeing this because of the air pollution getting uh, picked up because of the particulate matter increase. So these are all the real facts that is happening in and around us. And these facts, which I have uh, focusing now, this is, the, this is to say that Pollution is not a new episode. It is not new to the system. I, I have studied in one of the book hmm, where they have cited when the water is being sent through the lead pipes, then itself the heavy metal pollution has started in the ecosystem. That is what is a real fact. When the people were with nature, everything was under control, right? Once we started... Uh, going out of nature, working for our convenience, for our satisfaction, then came all episodes. So to name a few, you have, you will be knowing about uh, Minamata disease, Itai Itai or Ouch Ouch disease, the Laucanol episode, the ozone layer depletion, the photochemical smog uh, now and then happening at different places and uh, the acid rain, which is uh, wetting the land very frequently nowadays and the Noor Muhammad Lake in Hyderabad. I think you people will be knowing pretty well about it. In 2000, it was a pink colored lake I studied. I have seen the pictures. I can even now remember. So it is all showing you that now and then we are threatening the ecosystem in spite of that ecosystem is helping us to lead our life. Whatever we are suffering right today, we cannot say that it is purely out of our control. No, 
we are also a part of what is happening to me so i chose the title as responsibilities for ecosystem restoration what am i going to do for making this concepts go down and taking a better option once again because we are for sustainable development it is not for me alone the world is it is for my next generation also so what has to be done number 1 and one and only option is the environmental awareness first and if i am going to extend the option implementation of what i understand that must be the second option i must be aware of what am i doing to the environment first and number 2 what can i do to the environment it has to be implemented so the awareness levels to be very uh, precise it is four different levels first you have to understand the symptom that environment is deteriorating environment has shown us very many times by giving you acid rain by showing the ozone layer depletion by showing the glaciers melting all these are symptoms of environmental deterioration number 2 second awareness level is just to understand and accept not only the industries are responsible for pollution the population also is responsible imagine if the population is lesser why a company is going to produce so much of products then taking so much of raw materials so the extrusion of the raw materials and production of so much of materials it is all to satisfy the ever increasing demand for the materials so the pollution is one concept but population increase is also a problem so third is we should realize the protecting and preserving alone can prevent the mother earth from deteriorating and fourth level of awareness is very important all species are interconnected you cannot go and say i am saving all butterflies so the entire ecosystem will be saved no every part of the biodiversity has to be taken into consideration right now when i am going to cut a tree for beautifying a city no longer we have to permit it because the tree is a food chain originator or a food web is present in the tree so we have seen so many cities beautified at the expense of cutting trees no longer it can be permitted you are now running out of oxygen once it was surplus always we will be telling as environmentalist that may be a day coming where the museums will be having the seeds of certain plants and oxygen cylinders now during my life period itself i am seeing we are running for oxygen this cannot be permitted further so the backfiring of mechanism of the nature exist so only if we properly utilize nature nature will be very conducive for us to live or else the backfiring will be happening and we have to think this nature is not only meant for me to live it is for all organisms which are surviving with me to live yes speaking all this coming out of the uh, uh, house huh? seeing a snake putting a stone on its head doesn't mean that we are with environment no we have to train ourselves that all these organisms are part and parcel of this universe right so mind revolution is needed at this right moment now i am going to speak positive for 5 or 6 minutes and wind up okay i am telling yes people are nowadays aware of what is happening around us yes i am supporting the people who are living with us what i want to say is the awareness is not enough the action is not enough we have to improve the level of awareness and improve the action and bring the all the results from lab to land more more, more and more research inside the lab is not enough nowadays you have to come to the land so now we are justifying the theme that is ecosystem restoration now what can i do what is the responsibility for me to take up this work yes i have seen all these years only one chipko moment not enough yes not enough i have seen only one place talaiwasal 
and agaraharam of natamangalam of tamil nadu right these people are uh, meant for not using any crackers during the diwali period in order to protect the bats coming to their places during that season uh, the migratory bat birds were found to visit this places okay if they are going to use the fire crackers these birds may be uh, frightened and they will not be turning turning back so this is a paper news uh, long ago okay so they have not celebrated the diwali for around 100 years this is one village of tamil nadu this must increase in its number the in number is not enough okay and this is the airport of cochin which has gone completely solar not one airport is enough it has to increase in its number yes but we have to applaud this people that's good but still it's not enough at the right moment i studied in newspaper by 2012 the bangalore uh, city uh, government has uh, the karnataka government has made it mandatory to install solar water heaters all new houses only the plan that will be then uh, approved this is not enough if bangalore alone insists on this this must be made mandatory in many of the states okay this is a climate change express which is inaugurated by our uh, 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 central minister so this space about the climate change which is happening it this express is found to visit all over the cities many of the cities it's going to be covered yes and swachh bharat movement it has been brought about by our prime minister it's not enough giving awareness only on a particular day the environmental day must not be celebrated only on june 5th it must be every day event it must become a part and parcel of our life that's what i want to mention here the ozone layer depletion luckily one of the other speaker also was saying yes there is a reduction in the depletion the ozone layer has got coming up once again just because of the uh, uh, reduction in the usage of ozone depleting substances this must this awareness must increase in many other concepts also and i would like to mention about our anna hazare the village religion city ha uh, it is a drought prone village village uh, it is a village when he ret- after his retirement he is coming to his village by 1975 he can understand the whole village was highly dried not flourishing no productivity large scale migration from his village everything was negative then he understood okay the water development must be the first process in order to bring back all good things to his village then he started utilizing the watershed management practices then he started afforestation now the pro- now the total village you can just browse and understand what is the next next steps anna hazare did so anna hazare must not be bound to one village of india it ha- he one each house must have some anna hazare or if i am if i am so very uh, crazy about it not like that at least every city must have at least a 10 or 15 anna hazare to bring out all possible things for the restoration of the ecological system ecosystem only on practicing this we can bring back the ecosystem by speaking hours together nothing can be done reality must be brought into concern so to um, say yes to this some of the children from odisha they have taken some steps on by 2016 they have created so much of uh, uh, awareness uh, charts and they have gone to the villages uh, uh, the village you, he, here you can see kakri kuma koraput uh, in odisha the people have gone to the village and they have demonstrated what all has to be done in order to bring down the global warming and they have explained what is practically possible and this is uh, one other information i just wanted to share the bangari matai ma'am she is also an environmental activist in kenya 
who planted so much of trees and she was a nobel prize the peace prize winner okay so and to my satisfaction i can see one of the latest newspaper cutting where it was said many industries during this lockdown period has thought about their contribution to the environment and taking so much of activities in order to reduce the wastage for example i will point out one or two the samsung they are uh, uh, replacing the plastic packaging with bioplastic it is a good initiative and pratt and whitney uh, they are one of the manufacturing companies now they are uh, making so much of uh, uh, innovation in the water usage the panasonic has uh, shifted their headquarters to the led certified building in order to cut down the energy consumption and bank of america has utilized has cut down the usage of papers and it started new recycling 30000 tons of paper one of the speaker was telling i am using only one side paper yes uh, i would like to uh, put a namaskar for you sir such practices will definitely help the next generation uh, to understand the uh, importance of uh, utilizing all the resources to a minimum extent mustn't say maximum extent hereafter no more uh, utilizing to a maximum extent so things are going on so the simplest solution for all pollution is useless that is what is the way for emitting less okay now you may ask one question what are you doing for the environment have you shifted your research from lab to land yes our vision is to conserve the nature for sustainability and so because my mission is to convert the waste into wealth so we have we are working on working on the post consumer waste for vermicomposting and i would like to just simply explain this tub alone so that you will be very much happy to know this we just use the paper cups and subjected it for vermicomposting using certain earthworms the earthworms has separated the paper separate and the paper has been completely converted into uh, manure with the help of the cow dung and earthworm and the plastic material has been just thrown towards the rim of the container saying that i cannot do anything to this plastic okay the earthworm has just put this entire material onto the rim and the other material has been converted so this gave us an option to understand what is happening to the plastic which is being thrown inside the ecosystem so we went to different villages and we are uh, explaining them don't go for paper cups it is the hazardous for our system and also to the ecosystem this is what is our main uh, aspect of our lab and our lab is called water and solid waste processing lab madam you may need to quickly wrap up madam yeah yeah finished sir almost completed so this is our work and i would like to also say that we are working on the degradation of effluents also in a natural manner using the microorganisms this is my research team and uh, i have uh, around 14 students have completed their phd under my guidance and each uh, certain students are working in, uh, in different universities and i'm really happy it is a wonderful stage which has uh, brought inside very many scholars in this area uh, to share their experiences i feel so much happy to be a part of this webinar today all the best for all the organizers and all, for all the listeners let us really do something to the ecosystem and to the environment thank you for the opportunity thank you sir thank you so much